I have an iPhone 6 Touch IC problem here. Um, I'm not even convinced that it's a Touch IC, but uh, I don't know. I think this is probably the first thing to do to um, diagnose because the touch sometimes works, doesn't work, sometimes it doesn't work. There's no gray flickering white bar to top or anything like that. Um, and when I initially started to charge it, I was getting no charge. Plugged it in for a little bit, and the amps kept jumping up and down randomly. So that's why I'm not convinced that it's a Touch IC. It seems more like a capacitor that uh, is failing to me. But uh, the Touch does not work sometimes. So, and since we're not getting any gray bars, I'm going to do Cumulus first. Um, and that's what I normally do. So the only difference really is the PMIC is, looks like it's pretty close here, right here. And it looks like it's really tight. I mean, I can barely even get my tweezers in here without moving all this shit. So, so that's, so I'm going to try my hardest to get it up without uh, disturbing any, any component. Once, if I disturb components, it's going to cost me an extra 10 minutes, 10, 20, 30 minutes or something like that, okay? So the idea is to do not overheat the PMIC and do not disturb any components, okay? <laughs> Some people just take this cap off too and make th makes things a little bit easier, which I probably should do. But let's try it this way first, and if it really sucks, then I will remove that capacitor. I mean, it's tight. I think I'm going to turn it this way. I normally do my six pluses that way, but I think I'm going to turn it this way and see if I can do it like that. So I don't, I really don't want to overheat, I really don't want to heat that PMIC at all. Because that's the thing that will damage. It's tight. I think I might just remove that capacitor. It's just too tight. So let's see if I can just remove this easily, hopefully, maybe. And I'm gonna cause more problems than I'm gonna So let's let's not do it. Uh, let's try it again. I don't know, it's hard. It's probably not even Mason. It's probably Cumulus. Or, it's probably not even Cumulus. It's probably Mason. But, one way to find out.
Man, I hope that is not. Hope that's NC. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, good. That is definitely NC. Okay, good. Uh, I'm running out of chips again. Hmm. All right, so I'm gonna. I think I'm just gonna heat it and just kind of let it do its thing because I don't really don't want to. I mean, first off, there's not even room here, and uh, I really don't want to jack up the PMIC. So then we're really screwed. So let's just kind of, I mean, it's pretty much, it's set pretty good right now. Basically, I'm just kind of looking for this thing to kind of uh, vacuum down. And align itself a little bit. There it goes.
I hope that wasn't too hot. <laughs> I really hope it wasn't. Could be. So that was on there for a, a long time. I mean, that looks damaged right there too. So, but I wonder what that is. So that definitely goes to Mason. Right there. Touch to Sage. That really does look damaged, doesn't it? Before we do anything crazy though, let's test it first. See if maybe this was the only problem. Okay, so I'll get the Apple logo. Ugh. Touch works fine. Problems, it worked fine before too. It just and then it just kind of died every once in a while. So that's just so hard to troubleshoot. Anyways, it works perfectly right now. Touch works perfectly. So the question is, is it going to die on me, or is it going to continue working, right? And another question is, was it the, I mean, this is a, an aftermarket um, screen. So maybe it's the cheap screen that's causing this problem in the first place, right? So anyways, uh, I'm just going to call that a maybe success I mean but anyways that's how you replace the touch IC on iPhone 6 anyways regardless if that was a problem or not um, we don't see a whole lot of touch IC issues on the 6 but uh, it could happen so there you go